Before I explain the curing process of uh, HIV, I would like to say, probably everybody knows this, what I'm going to say. The death favors no one. So is the HIV or AIDS. It never favors anybody. However, the AIDS disease has been spreading, spreading and spreading all over the world last, since early 80s. No one has come up for curing these dreaded diseases. Why? I just wonder why it is. So much money is spent, so much of scientists, every country, particular reference to Europe and America, why they are unable to do it? And because no one, I have seen, I have, I have, I have not heard, I have not seen that everybody, uh, somebody, somebody is working on uh, this genomic level, which is we are doing in microRNA. Now, the microRNA is the regulator of the entire human genome. We are, the, nature has created human on the basis of genes. The genes are, genes are, as they are, the microRNA is a regulator and it regulates the entire genome. But the problem is the disease comes, or disease occurs because of the, the mutation, detrimental mutation in the genes, and also any disease at the present time or in the past or in future, any disease cannot be cured genetically, it can never be cured. And a premature death is made to be certain to human. So one thing like, after it is cured through your medicine, there is a doubt, like people ask, like, will it spread again? That no, never been. Because, because the receptor, the genes that is called, so the, uh, that receptor has been, what about the nucleotides, and there is 32 nucleotides destroyed by our genes, that what we are using it at the present, Borua biological combat genes, and it can never receive. The receiving capacity has been totally gone. So where they will go? So once a patient gets treatment, so he can marry, he can have his... Certainly so. That's what I am saying today. Today our uh, the message would be to all the infected, HIV infected people or the patients, once they come here, once they get the treatment, once they get genomic cure, and they can marry, they can have a children with no problem. And, and about your, you told about your costing, you know, of medicine. People generally ask, you know, why this is co costing so much. Can you just... Costing, uh, costing, our costing is very small. Should have been higher, we became bankrupt by, by helping these people. Because the costing is the, so small, the much smaller than the cost of the life of the person. But in general, uh, still then, if you can throw some light, why, you know, like, it takes so much of money? Oh, the, because what we are doing it now, testing itself is cost higher. And the, then the isolation of the genes, biological genes from the edible medicinal plants is very expensive. Everybody knows that. And you, so you said about that why your medicine can't be transferred to other places? No, some medicine, this uh, genes cannot be transferred because these are thermal sensitive is a variation of the temperature during transportation it gets uh, totally spoiled we cannot re we cannot use it okay. that's why patient has to come to our place where we are we are isolating this and quickly we can use it okay. so you so if you you, you mean to say that if, if, if it, it get transported you know something might get uh, in the indeed in the, process, the yeah. color uh, the we see the change of color then we cannot use it and what about some people even ask, you know, why don't we have came in Mumbai, Chennai or... Yeah, uh, that is a possibility is there. But the facility has to be given to us. Because so that we can make it there. Wait, we no. don't have to transport. We can take the raw material, we can get the, isolate the genes and we can quickly, we can use it. Yeah. And as far as you know, your way of, you know, like... Uh, Verifying the genes, you said about seven to million data being analyzed. Oh yes, every uh, this, uh, when we take the sample, that sample from the patients, this sample is uh, when we are putting in the, uh, this uh, <coughs> ion turan or ion proton. It's a per sample seventy two million data we get it. And then we filter it. The machine itself will filter it. 
Then we give the, those, uh, we need it, we take it and we analyze it. Our bioinformatician analyzes with me, sitting myself and Dr. Asrika, three of us will do that, and it takes 15 days for one sample. Okay. So finally, the, uh, whatever data you get, it is, it is brought down to one million, you say something like uh, that? Yeah, but from the 72 million to one million data, which I'm giving it now, in the report. And you were discussing about IV baby, you know, like... Uh, Oh, is, that, that is another, uh, another uh, what I wanted to highlight. IVF, for when it, the, one of my patients, they are having parents, parents are having the AIDS or the HIV infection. They wanted to have an IVF. They want to, they, uh, another, one hospital, in our hospital in Calcutta, they said that we can wash, wash the virus and, uh, from your sperm and he will not uh, having a baby. But unfortunately or fortunately, the baby has a, baby, baby was severely infected with the HIV. But the problem is, what I'm going to say about the GITS, GITS has never been mentioned before. It is genomically transmitted immune deficiency syndrome. H is the, um, uh, the acquired immune deficiency syndrome. But the problem is here, genomically those are transmitted. They can uh, uh, present tests like a Western blood, or ELISA cannot detect it because antibody is not there. Because the virus cannot transmit through the placenta. But the virus cannot stop transmission of infected microRNA. That's where the gauge comes, which is not never been thought, never been mentioned, and never treatment is out of question. But we are treating them, and they have been cured. But they are always, always reported as a negative, negative, negative. This is nonsense. My thing is that uh, when in the general case something is uh, something comes as negative, so that might not be negative. You no, say we have got a patient here today. The Bijendra, Bijendra's wife, for five times negative, negative. When we did the microRNA mapping, it was positive, and we treated her. She is now uh, very well. Uh, day to day, uh, no problem to going working. And we're also talking about your medicine that's found only in the Himalayan region. Exactly so. This explain. our plant, the medicinal plant, is only available is the foothill of the Himalayas, not anywhere else. That's why I came from England. I was there for 22 years as a cardiac surgeon. Why I have came here? Because it is not that I like I love Assam or I love Assamese people. It is not like that. Because these tools brought me here, and a lot of atrocity I have to face from the government, from the public, and everywhere. So there's also a question like after a patient is being treated by, you know, is there any chance of reoccurrence of the disease? Or never, never. It will never, never, never again. Okay. Uh, can you just show, uh, explain a little bit about it? Because as I said, when the virus, how does it get in? We have, we, that the genes, that this is, uh, the, uh, the chemo receptors, Chemokine chemo receptor, which is received the virus, that has been destroyed. There are 32 nucleotides, we destroyed them. Then, how the virus will be received? By Suppose you, you cannot receive your guests, guest has to go back. Uh, it is not so simple what I am saying, very difficult to work on. So when you first started like doing research on you know, working up. Uh, you know, trying to find a solution for HIV. Can you just recollect and give a little insight on this? It was long ago. It was uh, uh, April 97 after my pig heart transplant. Uh, what I thought, because the, the barbarians uh, put me in jail. They here, uh, uh, those are, now they are hapore kwa kukura nishna hoi gul. But the barbarian put me in jail. Then I said, oh, barbarians. This is not a this is not a deterrent, this is a stimulant. That's why I, because nobody has done it. There are so many years. Now my first patient is here eight years. Now no return. Then if the eight years man is living without any disease, what more you want? So what amount of time did it take to get to the medicine? You know, you say that you started in nineteen ninety seven, like ninety seven. Now ninety seven to only eight years ago I have used the first first patient? It's almost ten years. Exactly so. And how do you like to help the poor people or who can afford like any any long term plan? You know, how well, the poor them? people, poor people, you know, I I became a poor, helping them, helping them, helping them. But if, if someone my pocket, both pocket has been gone, no, Be, made made big hole. If someone tries to help, you know, like poor people, like giving some subsidy. No, they if sub, uh, subsidy given by any uh, the government, but well, I don't think government level is, uh, will be 
government is going to help because government uh, they are they are working in different directions not to the help the poor so they can, which government is tell me which government is helping the poor still now nobody will be. let if the pe pe people are dying they are happy so still then if they want to come forward you know, if someone wants well i'll see who comes it is a 6 million dollar questions you will never get answer the first time on this planet the gates words and gates disease has been come up and identified by Ali Badaw